Now we're going to look at saving for retirement. How much should you deposit at the end of each month in an IRA that pays 6.5% compounded monthly to have $1,500,000 when you retire in 40 years? And then, once we figure that out, how much of the $1.5 million comes from interest? The formula we'll use is P equals A multiplied times R over N in the numerator, where our denominator is going to be 1 plus R over N to the NT power minus 1. So we're going to try to solve for P by substituting our value of A as 1.5 million. Our R value, we have 6.5%, so we write that in its decimal format. We're going to divide that by 12, since we're going to be investing monthly. In our denominator, we're going to have 1 plus R over N raised to the 12 for the N times 40 for the T, since it's 40 years we're looking at, minus 1. Now again, we're going to use, this is calculator intensive. You're going to use your calculator in order to come up with an approximation for P. What you should do as a student is to double check by using your calculator to see if you're coming up with the same value that I'm coming up with here. And we come up with approximately $704. Now, how much have you actually invested? Well, we'll take that amount, which is $704, each month. We're going to multiply that times 12 months in a year, and we're going to multiply that times 40 years. And so if we come up with that value, we have $337,920. Now that's how much we invest, and remember that at the end of this, we end up with $1.5 million. So how much of this amount is coming from interest? We're going to take the $1,500,000. We're going to subtract from it the amount we invest over that time period. And we come up with a difference of $1,162,080. All of this amount is interest. So if you have an extra $704 a month and you have this set up, this might be a good deal for you.